Okay guys, this is it. I am fully packed and I'm ready to go. Fingers crossed, we have no issues and we make it safe and sound and the car has no issues. Well, this is it guys. I've started my road trip and I'm very close to the border. We're about to cross. Car's running perfect. I had a near heart attack when I saw all these trucks on the bridge. This is the Peace Bridge in Fort Erie. We are crossing from Canada over into the United States, New York, Buffalo. Thankfully there is a car lane and we're able to continue our journey in a smooth pace. I had to wait here for an excruciating 30 minutes just because of sheer volume here. And they've only got one, two, three, three booths open, go figure. I wish I recorded that, but out of respect to the officer in his position, I couldn't. Funny story, turns out he's actually a 335i guy. I was howling my ass off because I'm always nervous crossing the border because you never know what they're, what kind of troubles they're going to give you, especially with a modded car. And he's like, what's the tank in the trunk? So I was like, how do I address this without sounding like I've got drugs in my trunk because I have a meth injection kit? And the way I worded it was, uh, it's just a cooling effect that injects into the intake to cool off the temperatures. And he's like, so methanol injection? I'm like, yeah, methanol injection. He's like, man, this thing is sweet. That was a really cool experience. It really brightened my journey and something to think about for the next 18 hours. I am hearing a creaking sound coming from the suspension. I've never heard this sound before. We're gonna take a quick look when we grab some gas. I think it is the strut tower brace. There's a big bolt that holds the two strut tower supports and apparently it needs to be torqued to something astronomical. And I think I only buzzed it on with a gun with a couple of ooga when I should have torqued that thing down. We'll find out exactly what it is. It's got me worried. Pulling up to our first pit stop. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I've been here before. Hey, pulling up right behind a Ford Focus RS. Okay, let's see if you can hear that noise. As you can hear, a little creak. Okay, we'll check that out. All right, let's see how much she takes. We're almost completely empty. My guess, 14 gallons, let's see. All right, so we got 15.3 gallons. Let's see how many kilometers we get out of this tank. It was around 70 bucks US, which was a little bit higher than I expected, but we did get 93. Let's take our first look at what's been done. So I think it's this bar right here, which is under that. Top hat looks okay, bolts are okay. Okay, this is me from the future, and it turns out that the issue is with the upper strut brace bottoming out on the top of the suspension top hat, and the creaking noise was coming from there. So I ended up fixing the issue by adding a washer to raise that strut brace. So we'll just take our chances and, and keep hauling ass. I really don't feel like wrenching right now, especially if it's not absolutely necessary, but man, I'm already feeling the heat here in Pennsylvania. I can only imagine what it's like in Florida. Okay guys, here we go. We're about to merge onto the I-79 South. This is a major highway. It's gonna be the majority of our road trip. It's gonna take us through all states essentially and into Florida. I'm sure there's gonna be a couple highways in between, but here we go. Let's hit it. Virginia where we will cross into the next state so West Virginia is gonna be quite mountainous there's a really really cool like two kilometer tunnel it's so cool to drive through there and I've always wanted to take one of my toys through there so I can hear the exhaust and we're probably gonna be crossing through the Virginias at nighttime and then we're gonna break into the Carolinas probably close to sunrise so for those of you wondering what it's like driving on the I-79 South all the way to Florida, 
it's not boring at all. There's so much landscape change. There are so many turns. I love the turns in this car, guys. It's so fun. This car is planted with the KW suspension and the 19s and the tire setup. This thing is an absolute dream to drive and I am having the time of my life. And I'm craving Burger King for some reason. So we'll definitely try to find one off the highway. I don't feel like detouring too much. There she be, Burger King. It's time to replenish my freaking cows and my belly. So we'll do a quick walk around, make sure everything's good on the car. Tires don't look flat. Still looking straight. Let's see how many bugs are on it. Hey. Let's go, baby. So we got the Whopper combo. We're gonna see if this American large size drink fits in the BMW cup holders. Let's see what this 2008 German BMW has to offer. Hey, it's American proof. Let's go. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, give me those fries. Mm -mm -mm. Yo, my God, food. Food is so good. All right, as they say, hit the road, Jack. Please start, please start. Oh, yeah, boy. Thank you, Burger King, Washington City. Hey. We're pulling up for a pit stop. We gotta get some fuel. We got about 500 kilometers out of that tank, considering we went through mountains and we were ripping it. Uh, it's pretty good range, I'd say. I expect to see better range this time around. A 93 octane at $4.20 per gallon. We will fill this sucker up, and I think I might grab my first coffee of the day, just to give me that little extra kick so we can keep on trucking. Oh, and we're gonna need some washer fluid, so we'll pick some up and we'll top her up. Yo, this thing's looking pretty purple tonight. It's very interesting, I haven't seen that shade in a while. Must be the lighting. All right, I was mildly turned off by the coffee in there, so we'll probably just hit up a McDonald's. Yo, look at all these bugs. Oh my God, this thing's gonna need a bath hard. Anyways, let's just keep hitting the road. They didn't even have washer fluid for sakes. Here's a little tip guys, so I'm just doing a lot of stretches every time I get out of the car. A lot of hip base stretches, butt stretches, just cause like we're sitting, right? We're like stuck in the same position for so long. I'm also washing my face every time I'm wiping the back of my neck, I'm wiping behind my ears. It really helps like wake me up and keep me going. So let's pray that this little bugger starts up. Oh, satisfaction. May the journey continue with good luck. Hell yeah, baby. I've been waiting for this tunnel for quite some time. This is sick, so we are literally gonna go through a mountain right now. I wanna get some exhaust noises here. Yo, I've been waiting for this. Second gear. We gotta get that pop in second gear. Let's try again. Down to second.
We are already in North Carolina, approaching Charlotte, the main city. And then after that, we're gonna hit South Carolina and I'm using the express lane. So I'm really shocked at the price. It's only 50 cents to use this lane and I've got the entire lane to myself. Nobody's cutting me off. Nobody's shooting rocks up onto my windshield or my front bumper. South Carolina, baby, let's go. We just crushed all of North Carolina like it was nothing. Crazy, crazy. We're at 2 a.m. right now. What a time to cross into South Carolina right on the dot. So far, the car's running flawlessly. I feel great. How much gas we got left? Got half a tank, 310K. I think that'll bring us into the next state, which is Georgia. Probably make a pit stop somewhere in South Carolina or towards Georgia. We'll see how we feel. We're here in Georgia. Sun has risen and there is so much fog outside. guys we made it to Florida yeah buddy look at all these palm trees and the swamps <laughs> it is 7 38 a.m. I had my McDonald's coffee my hash brown my egg and cheese and we are gonna keep driving for about another two and a half hours I've decided we're going straight to Universal Studios I just left Universal Studios and I've come to the condo, so I'm staying at an Airbnb. This place is nuts, it's got a lazy river, it's got a huge pool, bar, gym, volleyball, it's got canoes, water slides, everything, you name it. the bugs we are gonna take this thing for a nice pressure wash later let's get unpacked we'll check out the room okay let's just grab the essentials no way don't tell me this is my room 206 sick check out that view where's my baby girl Keep an eye on her, make sure she's safe. All right guys, here we go. Let's get the first impression. Holy shit, this is huge. Look how tall the ceilings are. All right, let's get some light in here. Wow, check this out. I'm assuming these are the two rooms. Check out this beautiful decor, nice paintings, beautiful modern fixtures. Modern furniture, nice carpet, massive TV. We got a sweet ass balcony. We successfully completed our road trip around 2300 kilometers one way. We still got to do a shitload of kilometers within Florida and then we're going to make our way back. I'm going to be here for 10 days. I'm going to try to cover as much as possible over the next coming days just to show you guys what Florida has to offer and the things that I enjoy doing. We're going to have to make that a wrap. My eyes are getting super tired and I'm about to crash on this king size bed. <laughs> 